Hamburg Tunnel control points are managed with the control points editor, which is accessible from the project tree. Control points are organized at the level of the tube or shaft heading in the project tree structure. Amberg Navigator tablet will use the control points to position and orientate the instrument in the tunnel. Even though control points are organized in Amberg Tunnel at the level of the tube or shaft heading, Amberg Navigator tablet will still use all control points across all headings to determine a setup in the tunnel. To get started, expand the tube or shaft heading in which you would like to add control points and double click on the control points editor. On the left of the screen is where each control point name is defined. Each control point name or ID must be unique within the entire Amberg Tunnel project. Control points can be added or removed from the buttons here. Each control point can have one or more measurements associated with it, such as repeated measurements over time. The measurement or measurements associated with a selected control point will appear here. As well as manually defining the control point information, you can go ahead and import the control point list from a file. I will go ahead and do that now. You can right click and choose import or the same option is available from the icon here. The data wizard will guide you through the import procedure. The first step is to specify how the points to be imported should be matched up against existing points in the project. In our case here we have no existing points in the project so we should choose the point ID option. The nearest point option will match the points to be imported against existing points in the project based on proximity. You may for example choose this option when you have a readjusted or recalculated set of coordinates for points that have already been imported into the project. In our case I will go ahead and leave the option set to point ID and hit next. In this case the control points are stored in a text file. In the drop down list you will see the other supported file types. I will go ahead and select one of the text files and choose open. Next you need to specify a creation time and date for each of the measurements. I will go ahead and accept the date shown. The red column indicates an import warning. If you hover over the color cell it will tell you that the point is not recognized within the project. This is expected behavior given that we do not yet currently have any points in the project. We can clear this warning by ticking the Create Unknown Control Points tick box. I will also select the All Zero Measurements option. Given that each control point can have one or more measurements associated with it, we must specify which of the measurements is the first measurement, which we call the zero measurement. I will now import the selected control points. On the left hand side we can see the list of control points and on the right hand side the measurements associated with each control point. I can see here at the top of the list there is one bad control point. I will go ahead and select it and delete it. I will go ahead and save the project at this point. I will use the zoom icon to zoom to the extents of the map. As well as the 2D view there is also a 3D tab for viewing the points. The coordinates of each point can be edited directly within the editor. This concludes the video on control points in Amberg Tunnel.